What's up everyone, I'm Andrew. In this tutorial, we are going to create a lead magnet very easily in WordPress. So we are going to use only free plugins and tools and we are going to create a very beautiful lead magnet. So let's get started. So here I have this uh, demo website and we are going to create a page which uh, we will be offering our ebook for free and we are getting the email addresses of uh, users in exchange and that's really uh, powerful uh, for our website so uh, what we are going to use it for this uh, purpose is of course Elementor as our page builder you can use any other page builder that you want here I'm just going to use Elementor and we also I need a contact from plugin again uh, it can be done with any kind of contact from plugin we are going to use contact from 7 for this purpose so let's just quickly install it So now that we have our contact form and of course our page builder, it's time to start building the uh, lead magnet. So of course we need the file, the ebook that we are going to offer and first we are just going to upload it in our media library. So I can just bring my media library and add new. And now I can just upload my PDF file here. This is only a sample PDF. So I have it here. I can just simply upload it. And then, of course, we have a link which we can use for our contact form. So I can just copy this uh, link. We are going to use it uh, with our contact form plugin. And now we can just create the contact form. So I just have to click on contact and add new. And this is the default uh, contact form that you get with contact form 7. Uh, but of course, uh, we do not need subject. Or message so I can just remove this too. We only need name and email and of course the submit button and it's just fine. We can just save it and call it a lead. And then in the mail section of course we have to put our uh, link here because we want our users to be able to receive the PDF with their email. So here in the message body, we again do not need to see your message, but rather we have to paste our link here. And one thing to note is that this uh, plugin uh, contact from 7 does not have an HTML editor. So although it supports HTML, I can just click on this uh, use HTML content type, but I cannot, uh, for example, create a link here or make it bold or italic or anything like this. So what uh, I'm going to do here is to just create my content with a sample post, with a dummy post, and then I can just convert it into HTML. This is a very useful uh, technique whenever you are dealing with some kind of plugin that uh, asks HTML, but uh, maybe you're not uh, familiar with writing HTML and that's really useful. So I can just quickly create a new post. And then I can just write anything I want here. So for example, we can just uh, write, thank you. And then uh, you can download your ebook from here. Okay, ebook from here. And then we can just put the link here. And now because I'm the, in the WordPress editor, I can just easily click on this link icon here and paste my link and just insert it. So now we have our content, but of course we want to copy the HTML. It's very easy to do. So I can just select this block here and click on these options and then click on edit as HTML. And now I can just copy the HTML super easy. And then I can just simply paste it there. So we have our HTML content here with our link, super, super cool. We can just have any kind of HTML content or CSS content that you want. That's super, super cool. And now I can just save it. And you just have to make sure that you are using HTML content type. So now our contact form is just ready to be used. So we can just create a page with Elementor and start using the shortcode. So I can just create the form 
just click on the form and get the short code. This is the short code that we have to use uh, for this contact form. And then it will just uh, mail the PDF, mail the link to PDF and everything will just work fine. So we just have to design our page. So I can just click on, click on pages and add new. And of course, we are just going to create a new page with Elementor. Here, I'm just using Athra. So I can just bring Athra setting and just disable the title. We do not want it. And uh, then I can just start editing with Elementor. So this is going to be our page, our leading uh, lead magnet page. And you just want to style it very engaging and make it very nice and engaging for users. And you can just use any kind of creativity uh, that you have. Here, of course, I'm just going to give it a background color. So I'm just going to click on setting. And um, here on the style, so if you have background type, and I can just click on classic and just give it a solid color here. Maybe you're just going to use a light green. This is a textbook about um, better living. So light green is just fine for me. I can just publish it. And then I can just cl click here on add a new element and I can just add a full width section here. And now we can just put the link. Of course, I have the image of my ebook, so I can just use it also. So here I can just click on this element and bring image and just put it there. And I can just choose my image. It's just ready here to be used. This is a PNG image. I can just insert it. And now we have the image of the book. Super, super cool and beautiful. And now I can just put the contact from right beside the book. So here I can just add a short code element and just put it uh, right there. So it's actually on the top, but it's uh, fine if I just duplicate this column, we get two book, but now I can just remove the um, um, image and then we only have the short code here. And also I can just delete the short code there. And now I can just paste my short code here. So you can see that I get the contact form. I can just apply the changes. And also we can just make it a little larger like this. So we have the contact form and we have the book. And uh, maybe we can just put a heading there. So I can just bring a heading and just put it there. And I can just type, get it free now. So we have it here and we have the button and maybe we can just write something about the book here. So I can just uh, get another heading, put it there and our best seller ebook. So we have it here and maybe you can just make it an H4. So this is the title. I can just center align it or maybe H3. And I'll be happy that I can also give it some padding here. So I can just select this column here and bring a style and sorry, advanced. And now I can just give it some padding in EM like this. So we have the padding and this is actually a very basic landing page, but you can just add other elements to it. And the more you add, it's actually better. So you can just, for example, write reviews about the book or maybe something about the book. So you want to make it very engaging and make the user actually want to download the content. So in this case, maybe I can just add a text editor just uh, below the content here. And it's just very nice. You can also make it a uh, full width and without any header and footer. That's also beautiful. So this is actually the default page layout, but maybe I can just select Elementor Canvas that is going to hide everything and we only 
uh, get our content and that's super, super nice. And now I can just update my page and we have it, it's published. And now if I just bring my website, we have our page. So if I bring all pages, and uh, this is the page, you didn't name it, so I can just quickly name it. So this is our page, very nice. Also, this slug is not very beautiful, so I can just make it free ebook. This slug is also important for us. Also, you have to make sure you are using post name slug, which is much better. So in setting and prem links, make sure that you're using post name so that you have beautiful slugs for your pages. And now if I just hit to slash free dash ebook, you can see that we have our landing page. It's very basic, but uh, you get the idea you can just build on top of it so now if i just enter my name here and just give an email address my email test. just a dummy email and click on submit we get our message and uh, if um, this is actually a local host so it's probably not going to send the email but you just get the email and in this case, we get this message that says, thank you for your message, it has been sent. But this is not the best message that you can display to your users, but we can just change it. So I can just bring my admin panel and contact and just click on this lead contact form. And then in the messages, we can just change it. So we can just say thank you and then we email the ebook to you so something like this and now i can just save and this time if i just make a new submission here and just type my email address here just dummy email address and then just say thank you we email the ebook to you that's it everyone as you see it's very easy to create a lead magnet with wordpress and if you're not familiar with contact form 7 then we have a bunch of very good tutorials i need so you can just learn how you can use it very effectively how you can troubleshoot it if it's not sending you the notification emails and how you can just style lms and thanks for watching if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more wordpress content and like always you can reach our team from the link in the description